the league for uh, giving me this opportunity to present me. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm not able to uh, give you a uh, PowerPoint presentation, but then uh, I have my own uh, guidelines here to uh, go ahead uh, in you know, presenting you. Um, I just made my presentation on the premise that uh, quoting three uh, examples from uh, three states and then uh, going ahead with the major challenges and then the practice of NSSR, the missing link and then the policy uh, perspectives. Um, so to start with, uh, you know, we uh, since morning I have been talking about different scenarios. Uh, since we have been working in uh, some of the states, I'd like to uh, give the exact uh, farmers' perspectives in Tamil Nadu, Odisha, and Maharashtra. Tamil Nadu, we could see different kind of uh, you know combination of farmers. Uh, some people are like uh, they are thinking they know everything. Uh, some are like partially aware, but there are some segment of community which really wants to be, I mean, wants to move forward but do not have access to information and technology. So this is one scenario in Tamil Nadu. Uh, the next scenario in Odisha I would like to take you, which is a tribal belt where uh, NSSRF has been working for a longer period. But uh, recently I also visited there where I could see uh, uh, in a group of farmers uh, with who are yet to be reached and the road connectivity is yet to be done. And also the technology wise it is not reaching, the connectivity is also poor. But we all think that connectivity is no longer an issue. But there are certain areas where which is still an issue. And Odisha again uh, the hot spot, suicidal hot spot where farmers are still to be reached with a kind of information where they suffer uh, you know, uh, a kind of uh, striving for minimum uh, support price. So these are different kinds of communities of farming community for whom we are addressing through using ICT. Uh, but then uh, all our intentions are very good. Uh, we have to increase the production in the context of decreasing availability of natural resource management, uh, addressing to addressing the food security and uh, livelihood security. Uh, there are uh, you know um, since morning we have often uh, heard this all through the presentation, uncertain things in the weather pattern, the soil, you know, poor soil condition, drought, declining so, I mean, uh, effects of uh, climate change, rapid decrease of fertile agricultural lands due to urbanization and industrialization. In Odisha, I have seen the shrinking of land uh, and also in Pondicherry because of these aspects everywhere we are seeing. But then. There are, uh, you know, the tribal land is uh, again segmented into three uh, upland, up medium land and low land. Where I have seen, uh, you know, some of the companies had uh, got into the space uh, for planting eucalyptus, uh, which is a, you know, a water loving uh, plant, where the water table again get depleted. So again the farmers uh, who are there with rich biodiversity are not going to capture that anymore. So uh, this is another scenario. But then on the other hand, we are talking about combination of tools which can be used for addressing these issues among uh, farming community, starting from computers, internet, uh, geographical information system, mobile phones, smartphones, tablet, traditional media also we are trying to capitalize. The potential is enormous and we, we had seen uh, the you know kind of uh, uh, successful implementation by different players in the morning session and morning uh, you know start of the tone setting session and the previous one also and uh, we, we all have very good um, you know uh, very good uh, experience in building the knowledge of among the farming community by providing them improving market access um, and also where where you know we are facilitating the farmers to have informed decisions to reduce risk and maximize their economic benefit. But um, uh, that's one thing. At the same time, there are uh, these informations are uh, mostly available in websites. Uh, some are, some of us are also using uh, 
mobile platform predominantly uh, to reach out. Uh, then Agro Advisories is other uh, platform through which we are providing end-to-end -end, uh, uh, solution to the farmers by addressing uh, each and every uh, knowledge requirement of uh, the farming community. Uh, the other, uh, other than uh, knowledge building, there is also capacity uh, building platform using ICT where the knowledge and skill also forms a part of it and uh, which also enable the farmers to have direct interaction with the uh, experts um, sitting in different locations and then uh, interact with uh, their own peers in other locations and then facilitate uh, the effective use of information. Um, you know, someone was pointing out in the morning that actionable information which we, we, we strive and then uh, the global positioning system is there to connect us with the expert uh, uh, you know, system, digital cameras and you know, internet, all those connecting a gamut of uh, uh, ICTs together also facilitate us to have direct interaction uh, you know, with farmers, between farmers and experts. And also it serves a uh, planning and uh, monitoring tool which was the uh, you know, previous day, speaker was highlighting about the power of that how it uh, you know, helps in um, monitoring and monitoring the impact that we have done through our interventions. Uh, one slide which, which was uh, shown by Dr. Banaji from CAPI was uh, really good. The knowledge uh, sharing, uh, I mean knowledge landscape where uh, lots of uh, myths were there. Uh, but you know, this, is, this is what we have been seeing today. Everywhere we have knowledge, it's available. The issues are also there and then we are striving hard to hit the issues and then make uh, farmers earn more out of it. But then uh, again these conferences are highly required because still we are, we are in the pathway to reach, um, reach the goal that we have set. But um, the, the same thing we have been doing in MSSRF also using the bottom up approach addressing the demand driven and local, you know, by providing local specific <coughs> information. And uh, we are also using the potential of uh, mobile application with the package of uh, services where bulk SMS, uh, you know, to address uh, their market and weather related information, audio conferences to facilitate the interaction with the experts, and then phone in program where they can ratify whatever the queries they have with the farmers, I mean with the experts and web-based interactions, sometimes self-learning modules. So these are uh, really facilitating to make uh, the knowledge uh, to transform into action. Um, and uh, during the process, we uh, try to capture their perspectives as well. So uh, though we are doing this, uh, there are missing links where the, doc, uh, the, the entire uh, knowledge is uh, somewhere located which are yet to be uh, reached in some of the locations as I said in Odisha and other parts and the bottom up approach where understanding the community needs again is uh, <coughs> again still uh, you know in somewhere it is lacking. The insights of community need to be uh, taken forward in designing technology solutions and uh, options. The knowledge sharing, uh, bringing together various stakeholders as we have done uh, this statement today and participatory approach in assessing the effects as well which are uh, very much uh, missing because uh, uh, the enormous amount of put in by different players is huge but overall in fact have we assessed that. Uh, if we are uh, going forward to a triple P approach we need to also assess that as a collective uh, you know forum where different players also contributed across the nation what was the impact made by ICT. Uh, then uh, we can definitely scale up these things. And attracting youth in agriculture is yet to be done. That's another area of uh, concern. Then digital exclusion, where <coughs> women are yet to be considered. Since morning I was, I stayed on hungry maybe, I would say. Uh, but nowhere we used uh, farmer uh, as a woman are, you know, most of us use one week men, he, uh, you know, those kind of, uh, it's not a gender neutral word I could uh, see, uh, but th that is, you know, again, maybe we are laughing, but then uh, uh, there is a, an area of concern where uh, women are involved much in agriculture, the, I mean, that those persons are also able to access 
technology and the kind of work, the role that they are playing is enormous. Whereas uh, uh, the content uh, development are we doing according to the requirement of women or men? That is a question I just put before you. Uh, so uh, these are the things and uh, in terms of policy perspectives, uh, our uh, major agenda of this is to enhance I mean, food security and increasing agriculture production leading to a livelihood enhancement. Setting that as a major agenda and keeping the concern of uh, gender uh, mainstreaming into the end day process and youth, you know, attracting youth in agriculture uh, where knowledge building uh, for promoting informed decisions among farmers across rural India, uh, you know, to throughout the value chain based approach to minimize uh, risk and maximize the economic benefit for which we need to foster strategies and programs with a long term perspectives. Um, where India, you know, um, we are from different locations, we can even have a kind of regional chapters uh, to assimilate the needs of farming community uh, where we can also look at the existing platforms like uh, Gramenya Nadia, where multiple partners are there, and then conversion of uh, KV cases, knowledge centers. In the morning, uh, Dr. Kapate was pointing out this, uh, where uh, it, it will have a wider reach and lead uh, content development and uh, sharing partners at the regional level, which will also serve the uh, purpose. Because here we could see lots of collective action where uh, uh, can we come together and then make a, a state, uh, I mean a regional chapters for uh, doing these kind of things. And then capacity building platform, again create multi-stakeholder mechanism for learning. Yeah, I'm almost through. Um, and different organizations are there. Can we facilitate a, a learning, um, learning forum by building our agriculture related curricula? Then, uh, uh, facilitate yeah uh, for and also the R and D priorities what is R and D priorities that we are going to set up across the uh, states um, where again need to have a, a partnership so everything is possible through par public private partnership mode that is the agenda finally to you know uh, before closing uh, my presentation I would like to state one uh, thing uh, instead of like you know every time. We need to also uh, change the tone of our own uh, interaction like this, where we are presenting the best models. We know that uh, Rider Market, ITC, CABI, MSSR, uh, ICRISAT, you know, many players are there. And we can be, be CSEs, be, be aware of those kind of best practices. But what is more important is to devise strategies. What is our way forward? We are setting that we have to uh, build our uh, knowledge platform. Okay, uh, I mean, shall we have a concrete steps instead of deliberating on the best practices or the policy perspectives also, we know that there is a, a tremendous amount of uh, discussions had already gone in. Where uh, can we reflect that? What is the key point that we want to address? Those things we can take up and then devise our strategies. That is one of the, um, you know, uh, thing I would like to stress upon. And, uh, Sustainability phase is another one. We never give a space for sustainability phase. Uh, if, if it is a project bound thing, only three years, within that we are working on sustainability phase. When we devise a project, we can we have exclusive uh, you know, a phase for sustainable, bringing sustainability, building sustainability. Uh, with this, I conclude. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.